Hey guys, what's up? It's Will Patson here, and I'm coming with another video vlog thing, tutorial. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to be talking to you about influence. And I don't just mean influence within the workplace or just the place of where you're currently at. I mean influence online, influence in your house, influence in your community, because influence has a massive effect. On average, a person will influence 10,000 people in their lifetime. Now that poll was taken a few years ago before the internet started to get really big. Nowadays, because of the internet, we probably influence loads more than that. Already, I've technically influenced 20,000 people online, and that's because I've got 20,000 subscribers online, which is crazy. So influence is generally a major factor. Influence determines what you wear, the bands you listen to, everything you eat, drink, sleep, wear, everything is determined by influence. But let's work out what influence actually means. It says in my iPhone dictionary that influence is the capacity to have an effect on the character, development or behaviour of someone or something or the effect itself. So influence is a major part of what we do online. If you're a graphic designer or someone within the creative industry, you have been influenced by someone. But the thing that we as creatives want out of everything else is to start influencing other people. We don't want to always be the influencees. We don't want to be part of the trend. We want to set the trend. We want to create a new trend in graphic design, create a project that people will love and want to mimic. That is how graphic design works. That is how logo design works. The trend nowadays for logo design is very vintage. And that is a part of the mass market of vintage typography coming back into fashion. In a few months time or a few years time, very retro work will come back into fashion. Isn't that just how it works? But there has been a new trend. There is this new trend coming out and I don't think anyone's really identified it or named it anything. We've had this vintage trend come into graphic design and logo design, but now we're starting to see this sort of new modern vintage look. And by that I mean clean looking vintage hand drawn letters with a vintage style but one stroke all the way around. Here are some of the few ways that you can start influencing the people around you. Tip number one, try something new. Trying something new can be a bit daunting sometimes, especially within the creative industry, but we don't want to get complacent. Now complacency is a completely ridiculous idea within the creative industry. If you're a logo designer, you need to be looking at the trends that are happening. You need to be asking and reading books. You need to be looking back at all things that have happened and look to what the new things are gonna happen. You also need to be setting trends by doing things new. About 10, 15 years ago, abstract typography was completely in. And it's strange, it was a trend that was happening. But nowadays, no one really goes for abstract typography. They want to go for clean looking, perfect layout typography. I hope you get what I'm saying here. I'm probably not doing the whole influencing justice. So trying something new could mean that you try a different pen. It could mean that you try a different letter form. It could mean that you want to go and look at different fonts within a book and then replicate that font into your work. It could mean changing the colors. It could mean working somewhere different to get new ideas. There is boundless things that you could do new. So don't be afraid to start something new. Tip number two for being the influencer. Be influenced by good people. This means that you have to have good role models in your life. It is so much easier nowadays to be influenced by good people. And by that, I mean you don't even need to be near them. You could do it in the comfort of your own home sometimes. All you need to do is subscribe to some people on YouTube that are very good at design, people who upload regular content. You could also do this through Instagram or Twitter and you can follow different people on social media to see what they're up to, to see what their daily lives are. Tip number three for influencing people, be available. And by this, I mean that you need to consistently put yourself out online. Consistently uploading projects to Behance and uploading pictures to Instagram and hashtagging things in a strategic way is gonna get people to follow you. The more followers you have, the more influence you have in that area. Now I know that social media is not all about the followers, I know YouTube's not all about the subscribers and everything else within it, it's something that I love doing, but you know, it's a vital part of influencing. Like YouTube is a vital part of my business. If you want more clients to come to you and be influenced more around what you're doing, or if you want to see people doing your work or seeing that trend being set, then you need to be available online to tweet, to Instagram, to Facebook, 
uh, YouTube, and do creative projects. Something that I'm working on at this moment in time is trying to create projects in which I film massive speed arts, as in um, me doing typography along a wall. I've got so many cool ideas of what I want to do, and also I'm gonna be doing some other things for weddings, because I'm really into my wedding prep at the minute. Tip number four for influencing people. This is the last tip, and this tip is probably one of the most important. Keep going, just, just keep going. When I first started out in graphic design, I had a few friends um, who, who didn't really understand it. I didn't have people around me who supported me as such, apart from like close family um, and Naomi, obviously. And that could be a bit discouraging. And you know, sometimes I get discouraging comments on YouTube and Instagram, and I get horrible emails sometimes, and work can be a bit of a bum sometimes. But you know, we need to keep going. A guy called Sean Wes, who's an amazing hand letterer and sort of a business motivator, he does a podcast and he really mo motivates me and I learn a lot from him, said that if you were to get to where you need to be, you need to show up every day. And by that, I mean you need to be posting on Instagram every day something of your work. You need to be doing something online every day. So if you want to start seeing influence within your work, as in people designing like you, or people, or you setting the trend, or you getting more reputable online, then you need to show up every day. Keep going despite the discouragement and everything else that's going on. That's it for this video, guys, and thank you so much for watching. One little thought. I wanted to tell you guys a massive thank you for 20,000 subscribers. I've already said it in an, another video, but I wanted to say thank you so much. 